Welcome everyone. My name is Neti. I'm one of the admissions officers for North America. I also have with me today my coworker Loon and my other coworker Calvin. So the three of us are the admissions officers for North America and we work all the medical degrees here uh, for the medical school. Okay. So today I will give you um, an introduction of University of Nicosia Medical School. We will discuss the medical program, admissions process, clinical residency placements, tuitions, and financial aid. Um, and also you'll have the opportunity to view a video of one of our current uh, medical students. And then if you have any questions, we can discuss that at the end. And right now uh, you'll be able to watch a one minute video or so of the university and the medical school. Imagine a university with more than 11,000 students from over 70 countries. With a vibrant urban campus of 18 modern buildings and presence in 18 other cities worldwide. With over 100 diverse programs of study. With a leading medical school in cooperation with St George's University of London and joint degrees with top European universities. Imagine a university with global leadership in innovative fields, pioneering online programs, and inspiring alumni who excel on the world stage. Think of how much you can achieve here. Welcome to the largest university in Cyprus. Welcome to the University of Nicosia. Okay, so this video gives you like an overall view of the university and the medical school. Um, and this is a map of the world. Just in case you don't know where um, Cyprus is, the country. This is Italy, this is Greece, and this little island here is Cyprus. And that's where the medical school is at the capital of the country, which is Nicosia. Um, the University of Nicosia is the largest university in Southern Europe that teaches primarily in English. At the medical school, everything is taught 100% in English. Between the university and the medical school, we have over 11,000 students from around the world. Um, we are the fifth safest country in the world um, right now. Also, um, we do have 25 research centers. We have um, all kinds of new buildings that have the latest technology. And we also have a very nice three new residency, um, not residency, the student housing buildings for um, the medical students and the university students. And of course, we also have the partnership with St. George's University of London, but this is for the four year medical program only. Um, the University of Nicosia Medical School opened back in 2011, and at the time, the only degree that was being offered was the one from St. George's University of London. Um, we currently um, offer various degrees, and currently all our students, uh, our graduates, sorry, 99% of our graduates are either currently are working as doctors or researchers around the world. Um, our medical degrees are under the World Directory of Medical Schools and on, also um, has the accreditation from the UKG, UKGMC uh, and on the European Union. And the medical school has over 900 students from around the world. And we currently have partnerships in the hospitals in the UK, US, Israel and Cyprus. Now, the degrees of the, the medical school offers, as I mentioned before, the first degree that we were offering back in 2011 was um, the degree from St. George's University of London, which is a, four, it's a Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and it's a four-year graduate uh, degree. For this, you need to have a bachelor's degree. Um, today, we'll be discussing the six-year medical program, uh, the MD, that you go from high school directly to medical school. And we also offer a three online master's degree, a master of science in family medicine for doctors that are currently working, a master of public health and a master of health services administration. And we also offer a PhD in medical sciences. 
Now, currently, um, this is just a small sample of where our graduates are currently working in hospitals around the world. As you can see in England, we have the King's College Hospital, the St. Mary's Hospital, Adam Brooks in Cambridge. Um, we also have the Mount Sinai in Chicago, University of Toronto Hospital, since there's like few, the Mayo Clinic of Rochester, Minnesota, and the Chivo Medical Center in Israel. If you would like to see the full list, you may also visit our website where you'll be able to find all the hospitals and specialties that our, our graduates are currently in. Now, um, the university has a state-of-the-art uh, facilities. If you look on the top, of that's the main building from the university. We currently have a primary care center that opened at the beginning of 2020, um, just before um, the pandemic started. Um, we also have a gym for our students. All medical students have access to the main library and the medical school library. If you saw the round building um, during the video, that's the medical school library. We have an anatomy lab, a communication skills lab, um, and that's a few pictures also from our student housing. Um, now, uh, we count uh, right now uh, with the state of the art infrastructure. So we have lectures and theaters, theaters and amphitheaters. Right now, um, they are not being used that much uh, due to the restrictions uh, for due to COVID, of course. So we're working with smaller classes than usual. We have the basic science laboratory, the anatomy lab, his pathology lab, communication skills and simulation lab, uh, the computer lab, the medical school library, main library, and partner hospitals. Our students are at the medical school, even though sometimes they are taking classes online. Everybody is at the med school. Everybody gets to go and uh, go to the laboratories and things like that in very small groups. I think the groups are down to like four to six people. Okay, and this uh, small video has no audio, but it gives you an overall idea of uh, our student housing which is considered probably the best residences in Europe. Um, it has the latest in technology. You do not share any amenities with any other people that are living in the building. You have your own bathroom, your own kitchenette. We do accommodate um, everyone from all economic backgrounds from the smallest, bu smallest budget to the biggest one. Um, so as you saw, uh, we even have uh, bungalows in one of the building's rooftop. There's also an infinity pool. And we do guarantee accommodation for all medical students. If you end up doing the reservation, um, let's say maybe around August or September, what we might not be able to guarantee is the exact room and the building that you want. But for sure, um, we'll, you'll be able to um, accommodate you in one of the three buildings. Now, uh, we will start discussing the medical degree, okay? This is a six-year medical degree, a doctor of medicine, an MD. Everything is taught completely in English, and the first uh, class started in 2014. It was a very small class, around 17 people. Now, uh, our classes are around 140 students, so it has grown a lot from 2014 all the way to 2020. Um, the degree is fully accredited. It has the European Union accreditation, which falls under the Cyprus Agency of Quality Assurance. Uh, we also have the World, Federal, World Federation of Medical Education. That means that the degree, it is accredited in Canada, the US, and many other countries. Um, and we are also under the international distance, the UK GMC, and the World Directory of Medical Schools. Ambitions criteria. So I know this is a lot of information, so it really depends from which province you're coming from, um, that then the requirements that will apply to you. Um, if you have any questions at the end, I, I am able to discuss the in more detail from which province that you come from, the requirements, okay? But this just gives you an overall idea. For example, if you're from Ontario, the minimum uh, grade that we will accept uh, for biology is 80%. And then also in chemistry, physics, or math, we 
we require biology and one more science. If you end up in biology, chemistry, and advanced functions, as it is in Ontario, as long as your grades are above 80%, then you'll meet the requirements. We do not have an, an admissions test or any other. Uh, or anything else like that. If you meet the requirements uh, with your grades, then you'll be invited for interview. And this here, um, if you are doing IB, then what we'll require is an overall of 32 with a combined a score of 16 at higher level to also include biology and one more science. And if you are from the US, then these are the requirements from the US that we require minimum 90% in biology and one more science. Okay, and then how does how will the six years of the medical program will be? So the first four years, you're um, studying all the strong, you'll be doing a strong background sciences and social sciences. So for example, in your first semester of your first year, you're already taking uh, general chemistry, biology, medical physics, medical psychology, and there's one more class about research. I always forget the title of that one. And then in your second semester, you're already taking organic chemistry. So this is a very demanding curriculum that it does prepare you um, for the future ahead. Um, you will start having clini early clinical experience in year two. You start only visiting hospitals two to three times per semester, and that starts increasing on your third and then on your fourth year. On your fourth year, you will earn um, a bachelor's degree in biomedical sciences. And then you can continue to year five and six. Why do we mention the US MLE? It's because this curriculum was mapped out against the US MLE. So technically, uh, you are better prepared than someone that just did a bachelor's degree in biology. Um, this, um, this curriculum was made with the step one in mind and a few of the students that have taken the step one from the MD program have been successful. So it has uh, bear its fruits. And then year five and six are your clinical years. At the moment, uh, the clinical rotations are only in Cyprus. Okay, and then the partnerships with the hospitals we have in Cyprus and also in the US. So as you can see, we have eight different hospitals in Cyprus that you'll have the opportunity to do clinical rotations and all the specialties. And also, if you would like to do clinical rotations in the US, you'll have the opportunity to do it at, at these three hospitals um, for about six to 12 weeks. Um, and then you come back uh, to Cyprus. So you can only be the full two years in Cyprus, but you can spend the maximum of 12 weeks at a hospital in the US. Okay. And the next thing, the most important one, annual tuition and living cost. So for the first three years, year one, two, and three, each one costs 18,000 euros. Um, and then the last three years, for year four, five, and six, um, each one costs 22,000 euros. Um, so this is the price of tuition without scholarship. We do offer a scholarship and now I'll, I'll explain it to you on the next slide, okay? Um, but this just gives you an overall idea of how much um, the medical, your medical studies plus living cost will cost if you do enroll with us versus if you will go to the UK or you end up going to St. George's in Grenada. So we end up costing, you know, around 65% less than UK and Grenada. And it's still, you know, in an accredited degree that you will be able to come back home and work. Of course, you do have to do the medical boards, exams and all that stuff, but it is a fully accredited degree. So you can have peace of mind. Now, for the scholarship, we offer a financial need-based scholarship that can give you a maximum discount of 20%. So uh, tuition, if you are approved the full 20%, then tuition can go from 18,000 euros to 14,400 for the first three years each one. And then the last three years can go down from 22,000 euros to 17,600 euros um, each year. We are also approved um, on, in Canada for student loans. 
So you can apply through your province uh, for student loans or also private through different banks in Canada. Okay, and then our medical graduates. So our first cohort, cohort graduated in 2020. It was a total of 17 students. It was a very small class since it was the first class you know, that started when we started offering this program. Um, 10 of them allocated for clinical practice in the UK and two of these students also apply for clinical practice in South Africa and in Finland. And there are also the other seven students are allocated for clinical practice or postgraduate studies either in Cyprus and Greece. Okay. And then I have a video that's going to last uh, maybe I think it's seven to 10 minutes about one of our medical, oh, one of our current uh, medical students. Okay. I'm Kyle Alexander. I am a third year uh, medical student in the. Oh, sorry. MD degree at the University of Nicosia. Uh, so just a little bit about me. Uh, I was uh, a former Royal Ballet School student, so I initially uh, wanted to be a ballet dancer. I then decided that that wasn't the career for me. Uh, so I went to a, a normal academic school uh, and I decided that I actually wanted to be a doctor. So I uh, applied for medical school. Uh, I did my A-levels in biology, chemistry and maths and I got the grades AAB respectively. Uh, and as I've said already, I'm currently a third year medical student and for the past three years I have been elected by the students to represent them. Uh, so in terms of, you know, sort of the student's opinion of the medical school and the student experience, uh, I, I can give you quite a, a detailed uh, insight into that. So in terms of why I chose the University of Nicosia, uh, firstly, uh, it's got quite early clinical exposure. Even in the first year, you do get some clinical experience, not much, but just a little bit. Uh, in year two and year three, you'll be doing clinical skills with practice patients, uh, and that's integrated into the academic learning. And for me, that's something that's very important when you're looking at a degree that you're gonna be able to sort of practice your communication skills and actually you know, feel a, a little bit what it's going to be like being a doctor and applying what you've learned. Uh, and as I've said already, we do communication skills, which not every medical degree puts that much emphasis on that early. Um, so that was something else that really kind of stuck out for me. Uh, the requirements are similar to the UK. I'm a, uh, a British uh, student, so I was kind of looking for something where I wouldn't have to, you know, do an extra admissions test. Uh, so, yeah, you do have to do an interview, but you don't have to do an extra admissions test like a lot of other European uh, universities. So you can actually have the time to focus on IB, A-levels or whichever uh, examinations you're doing. Um, the graduate prospects, I think the graduate prospects are probably one of, if not the most important thing when you're looking at a medical school uh, to be able to make sure that when you've graduated, you can go to uh, and go and do what you want to do and make sure you're at a university that can prepare you for being a doctor essentially uh, and as you can see on the right the graduate prospects were in the US in the UK but not only that they are at top hospitals uh, and considered very competitive hospital placements uh, so that can give you some reassurance that the med medical degree has got a good reputation on the international stage. Um, Cyprus of course it's a very multicultural country. It's absolutely stunning. As Sula said, it's very sunny as well. Um, it's a multicultural campus. That's something that I think is really nice. Um, and also the faculty is absolutely superb. Uh, I was lucky enough, uh, I think two or three years ago, uh, I managed to come to the open day in Cyprus, which this, you know, you probably won't be able to uh, this year, unfortunately, but uh, I was able to meet the faculty and they're absolutely superb. So. That was also something that gave me some reassurance about the medical school. Uh, and last but not least, I will have the opportunity in my fifth and sixth year uh, to complete my final two years uh, at an NHS hospital. Uh, Sula has already spoke about it, but for me, it will be Barnsley Hospital. As you can see on the right, it's not as sunny as Cyprus, <laughs> but it was going to give me two years of really critical, critically important experience in the NHS. Um, so that's also going to look really good on my CV when I'm coming to apply for residences, etc. Uh, so in terms of what my course has given me so far, uh, it's given me academic preparation. 
so it's given me a really good foundation so far obviously i'm only my third year i've still got a lot more to learn but it they take the USMLE's curriculum uh, and, you know, I don't even want to go to America, but the USMLE is considered a sort of gold standard uh, as far as sort of core medical knowledge. Uh, you also get a lot of clinical pearls, so different diagnostic tools when you're actually a qualified doctor, lots of things that you're going to see regularly when you're a doctor by experts in their field, uh, and also integrated learning as well, integrating the communication and clinical skills into the academics. Uh, we have lots of clinical opportunities. So as uh, Sula's previously said, we've got the mobile clinic, uh, basically a giant mobile uh, clinic that's like a sort of like a motorhome, but it's bigger. Uh, and say 10 of you will be going to you know hospitals, to villages, to city, to, to other cities, and you'll be taking you know basic clinical tests like blood pressure, etc. And it's less to kind of make get you to do blood pressure well it's actually more so that you can converse with people and you know i think that's really gratifying as well um but mixing that academics and the clinical skills and early clinical exposure it gives you the courage and the competence to apply what you're doing academically into a clinical environment which is essentially what you're going to be doing as doctors um, research opportunities as well um, i have currently finished uh, a research paper on thyroid cancer uh, we're just waiting for that to be published. Uh, if you want to go to America, research is something that they really, really like their applicants to do. Uh, but also, even if not, you know, doing research is going to look great on your CV as well. Um, but putting all of the academics aside and the course aside, you know, studying in Cyprus, being away from home, that's going to give you a lot of discipline, a lot of independence, uh, and it really forces you to get a good work-life balance. And these are all qualities that you're going to need uh, as a doctor. So I think even aside from the course, the environment that you'll be put in, it's going to set you up to be a really good doctor. Uh, so this is my one of my final slides, uh, and it's just about what I enjoyed the most in Cyprus. Um, I think discovering Cyprus has just been awesome. Uh, they've got everything you can think of. In the winter, in the Trudos Mountains, you can go skiing, they've got snow. So as you can see that picture there, that was taken in year one when we went skiing. Uh, and then in the afternoon, you can then go and spend the afternoon at the beach. So really, you can name it and Cyprus will have it. Uh, the mobile clinic trips for me, they've been some of the best moments for me. Um, also, the anatomy labs and human dissection. Sula spoke about that as well. Uh, as somebody who wants to go into surgery, being able to say that I've actually done, had the opportunity to do some human dissection uh, on, on cadavers. Um, you know, that's something that not a lot of medical schools have. Uh, and in Cyprus, it's the only medical school that has it. So that can also give you some really key experience uh, and exposure to things that you're going to need uh, when you're a doctor. Uh, ICP and practicing on simulated patients. Uh, even though you're going to have your head in a book and you're going to be sitting at your desk for most of your time as a medical student uh, at the University of Nicosia in year two onwards, you'll be doing uh, communication skills, clinical skills with fake patients, with simulated patients. Uh, and they're the kind of moments where you can go, ah, yes, I'm a medical student. And for me, they're the nicest times because you're actually doing what you're going to be doing when you're an actual doctor. Um, so, yeah. And the final thing I wanted to mention was the day to day routine. Um, so, you know, I kind of love my routine here in Cyprus. Uh, and to get through med school, you really need to enjoy, you know, the day slot. You need to be able to sit down and work and still enjoy it otherwise you probably won't get through it uh, and Cyprus and the University of Nicosia provides the perfect sort of environment to be able to enjoy your daily routine so uh, that's some, another reason to study uh, at UNIC. Uh, and that's my final uh, slide uh, that was taken at the end of our first year that's my cohort. Uh, I want to thank everybody for listening to me and all the best with your applications to medical school. Thank you. Okay, so that's one of our uh, current students that, you know, kind of gives you the perspective from a student uh, besides of what we can um, help you with. Um, just to clarify one thing, um, we do have clinical rotations in the UK, but it's only open to UK citizens. And because he is a UK citizen, that's why it's an option for him. 
for it and and the spots are very spaces are very limited so um only uk citizens can go and do the clinical rotations in the uk everybody else stays in cyprus and then um this is the last slide okay um, so as this discussed, uh, this is a recognized European medical degree that will allow graduates to apply worldwide for residency programs. Um, since it's fully accredited, it opens up opportunities in Canada, the USA, uh, the European Union, UK, and many other countries. It is 60% less expensive for international studies for international students to study Anatolia versus the UK, uh, because, for example, something I forgot to mention earlier, we don't have a specific fees for international students. Everybody pays the exact same amount. It doesn't matter if you're from Cyprus or not. Tuition is the same for everyone. It is an extremely safe place to, to study. And, you know, geography context feels very English. Um, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I will stop the recording now.